With the motto Beauty is in the difference, Miss India International 2012 was held at the F1 pit stop on a Sunday evening during a 48-hour long music festival called Full Blast 2012. The contest, which accepts women of all shapes and sizes as long as they were of Indian ethnicity, drew 33 contestants and proved that beauty was not just skin deep. To be honest, all of us do know that um, to be even taking part in any beauty, beauty pageant within, uh, can be anything. You have to have, you know, the figure and then you have to be slim, fair, skinny and stuff. So I never imagined myself um, to be taking part in a, in a pageant because of, of my size. When I initially took part in this pageant, I was 70 kg and um, in total I lost 9 kg. Wow! Yeah, in a period of two months plus. And I really went on a strict diet and I took this pageant um, very seriously. When you first joined this contest, did anybody go like, uh, why are you joining a beauty pageant? Yeah, I got to admit, I had a lot of negative um, comments like, oh my god, she's fat. And you know, does she even know what's a pageant about and everything. But I've made that same people today to actually say that she really did make a big difference. At 1.57 meters and 61 kilos, the bubbly Devi may weigh in heavier than traditional beauty queens, but her winning personality helped her make the cut into the top three finalists of the contest. Devi is happy with the weight now and hopes to maintain her current 61 kilos, and she says for her boyfriend and herself, size has never been an issue. He was a guy who actually, I think, he loved me for how he saw me once, yeah, and I think he still thinks I'm still the same to him, yeah, body doesn't matter to him, I guess. I've never thought that I was a fat girl, maybe plum, yeah. I always loved myself. In fact, um, before I lost, um, lost weight, right, I always believed that I am beautiful myself. After losing weight, right, it made me feel better, um, not because to look slimmer or beautiful, but to keep myself healthier. The main reason of me um, joining this pageant was not only to make a difference, but also to be a role model for all the ladies, especially um, plum, big-sized women who always believe that, you know, uh, oh, I'm an Indian and I'm ugly and stuff, so, you know, I'm not respected and all. But hey, I mean, that's not all about it, you know? The contest where the girls were judged over a course of three months was definitely unlike many others. Contestants were auditioned in December 2011, but when the final list of 33 was completed, all contestants were judging everything from personality to punctuality, something pageant director Sashi insisted on. On top of $10,000 cash and prizes, the champion would also walk away with a trip to India with an audition for a Bollywood film. My pageant has got to do with not sexy long legs and um, beautiful skin and colored eyes you know I'm very 1.75 no 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 it's all about what is the character of the person the inner beauty Sashi who trained and groomed all the contestants over three months insisted that this contest should not be a glorification of superficial beauty based on her own experience I was a tomboyish but because I have big sisters who are in the industry and they're they're really good big title holders they used to tell me to go and do this you know and then I wanted to, and then the people give me a comment that I'm too short. Yes, I'm short, but modeling, it, it comes a different way. You've got to hide, uh, you can be a runway model, you've got a beautiful face, you can be a photography model. It doesn't mean you can't be in any of this industry, you can be. And then I felt painful for the girls. Who f I have friends and daughters who say that I'm too dark, I can't do this. I think it's unfair. Let's not look at the skin color. Let's not look at the crooked teeth. <laughs> Let's look at how can she perform if she's given a chance. And the winner, 23-year-old Keshvinda, who at 1.76 meters tall, was definitely a beauty queen stature and was grateful for that chance. The fact that I actually won a title for the first time in my entire life after battling with others who actually have told me that I couldn't make it in life. When I was younger, I was I was unpopular, I was a geek. So I didn't actually have much friends, I was a loner. And people used to shun me. So now that I'm here and I'm wearing a crown, it's actually an achievement to all those naysayers out there who actually put me down when I was very young. So this is a huge accomplishment. Kishvinda, who is excited at the prospect of heading to Bollywood, said that she would take any movie role if offered the opportunity. But most of all, she hopes that she can do something meaningful with the title. I challenge myself to put myself out there and to show the world that a girl can be beautiful no matter what. So I want to reach out to all the girls out there who have no confidence over themselves because Hey, you're beautiful! You're God's creation! <laughs> Truly an ambassador of peace, beauty and friendship, which was the main goal of the search for this year's title winner. Meanwhile, the contest not only had participants from Singapore, but the region as well. And some even came from as far as the United States. So find out more about them in the next clip.